All right, so here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor for him. He feels so confident in all of his skills, he don't... Oh! Oh, big left! Oh, straight right! Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oliveira getting a little bit wild here on the feet. Oh! Oh! Oh, straight right! Blocks the shot. Knee to the body. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, a big knee. Serve him up. Go get him. Big elbow. Dealing with a cut now over that right eye. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Just missed with the left there. Oh, man. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have landed for Paul Felt. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, oh that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. What a body kick. Nice land there by Paul Felder. Always one of the more powerful guys in this lightweight division, but he says he really found himself when he made the move to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and aligned with his head coach, Duke Rufus. And they separate. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, big, a big knee. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that bench oh. down. This liver shot lands. How about those five minutes? what a round it was, and as far as flying knees go, they don't get much cleaner than the one he landed in that round. Yeah, he landed it cleanly, and he did a lot of good work, but this is the thing. That flying knee is going to be what we remember when we talk about this fight. I think you gotta throw one in your next fight. I... All right, all right, calm down. All right, five minutes down, here we go with round two. Charles Oliver and Paul Felt. Knee strike coming in his block. Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru... Oh, a big knee. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his... Huge elbow there. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, big knee! All right, stack guard here, the feet are on the hips. What are you trying to do if you're in top position? Oh, man, you're attacking those feet right away because you understand that the guy with the feet on the hips, all he has to do is just extend his legs. Right. He's a grown man that's pushing you off as you're trying to build. That'll do it! Wow. Wow. He's done. He's done. What a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win.
the decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Charles the Bronx Arena! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.